that the forum is finally over, it was very, very exciting. Everything went perfectly. The speakers were excellent, very inspiring. The people were very engaged. Everybody asked lots of questions. Um, they seemed really interested in what the speakers had to say. I believe there is a lot of uh, common grounds in uh, Latin America, so I believe that promoting the region as a whole is far more important than promoting each country individually. So having like, you know, one region uh, regrouping all these, you know, growing countries makes, I feel, much more sense than, you know, focusing on either Colombia, Brazil or, or even Chile. If you look at each country individually, uh, they are very small, but if you start adding up Colombia, Peru and Chile, they add up to a GDP of 800 billion. But then if you add up Mexico, it could go up to two trillion. So that's close to the size of Brazil. So when you start going to the world and promoting a macro region instead of, a, of, of an individual country, you will attract more investors. Businesses are being thought in a global sense. In many cases, you need economy of scale, and then you need the participation of the different countries uh, to, to fulfill your business objectives. It's exciting to do business in Latin America because you have risks, and when you have risks, you have opportunity. First of all, it's going to be much more fun than anywhere else. And obviously, that's, that's quite relevant. One, the mega events that are World Cup in 2014 and the Olympic Games in 2016. And also the energy boom that is happening because of the ultra deep water uh, free salt reserve. So those two factors are driving lots of business opportunities. There is a talent that can be used in Latin America and requires the capital and probably the technology that the rest of the world uh, does have. Doing business in Latin America now, at this time, is, is a great opportunity for for anyone around the world that wants to, to, to be part of a region that is, is changing rapidly. We've been able to have such variety in the people that are coming here. We have people who are working in London, who are Latin Americans. We have people who are from all different places but who are interested in Latin America and working around here. We have people from a lot of different universities. Young professionals can add value since we have capital available in Brazil, but we need talents to manage this capital and, and to address correctly these opportunities. You can't imagine the impact. Those people, if they have the space, if they can do the job, they will make the change and they will make those companies much better and in the end of the day they will have a, a great impact for the company, for the country and for them. We need good professionals, we need more uh, education, more innovation. So this is the place, the path to follow, I think, in Latin America. So if you have very good young professionals, well-formed, that's what Latin America needs. Uh, I think uh, young people, young professionals have uh, a lot of potential in a country like Peru and Latin America. Really, you know, insist on what you've learned globally and apply it to Latin America by demanding the corporations are offering you a job that uh, that job that you're going to have is going to have a positive impact in, in the societies and in the environment that you work in. The highlight of the forum was the M&A panel. I, I, I just loved it. The capacity of, this, of, the, of the members of the panel to just engage everybody in the, in the subject, but still giving you insights, I think it was out of this world. <laughs>